Recently, I showed that Midjourney provides flat-out better AI imaging results than Adobe Firefly. But now, with Image Model 2, Firefly is catching up. What's Model 2? Vary your look from fine art to photography, match your style to a selected image, and achieve way better results. Great faces, great hair, great hands, and more resolution than ever before. That's Model 2. All right, just to set the stage, imagine yourself two and a half months ago. That's all this was. This, this, is, this, is, it, this is a comparison two and a half months ago between Mid Journey and Firefly. So what I did was a video in which I showed 10 different ways in which Mid Journey is better than Firefly. I did, in the name of fairness, also uh, release a video in which I showed 10 ways Firefly is better than Mid Journey. Again, a couple of months ago, links in description if you want to check those out. Now, one of the ways that Midjourney was definitely better than Firefly was image quality. That is in the process of changing, by the way. But in order to compare the two, I came up with this prompt, Happy, Glowing, Friendly Firefly. And, and I ran that prompt multiple times, so I got the best out of each of the technology so you know fair comparison this is what i came up with with mid journey just an absolutely cute as heck kind of animated character and then over here from hanna barbera is the result from firefly i say that because not the best animation necessarily and firefly at the time was i think fairly notoriously bad at generating fireflies so this is what i came up with complete by the way with its beta watermark remember that all of 10 weeks ago we had that we don't have that anymore i'm glad to report so that's good and things have gotten a lot better in general so let's see what it's like now first of all here's what we're seeing from mid journey so it's improved as well as you can see and note i changed the prompt slightly i want you to see that cute happy glowing friendly firefly I threw the word cute in there for mid journey's sake, to keep the firefly smiling. That, that cute, the word cute is helpful. And then for the sake of firefly, I threw in the word anthropomor anthropomorphic, not a word I say every day. And that's because otherwise firefly has a habit of getting very insect-like with its firefly uh, responses. And, and, and I don't think you'd like all those bug legs. Frankly, I don't think that would compare favorably. But anyway, here's Mid Journey looking great. It's got all this translucency. It's just the firefly is absolutely glowing, right? It's kind of a little fuzzy as well, and it has these uh, paws that are very indicative, of course, of fireflies. Anyway, this is an upscale option, upscale 2x, because what both of these, well, technologies do, actually, I shouldn't say that. What, what Mid Journey does is it's going to generate one megapixel results. That's what it does by default if you don't act on it. And so that's all these are right here is one megapixel piece. And so what I did was I ran an upscale of 2x. That is one of your options. And that takes the resolution and it does redraw the image. By the way, it redraws it, it refactors it and everything. And it comes up with an image w when we're working at this aspect ratio, I'll explain that in a moment, of 2912 by 1664 pixels for a total of 4.8 megapixels, almost five megapixels. All right, to the, to, to the aspect ratio, this is wide angle, basically, widescreen. And Midjourney calls it appropriately seven by four. It's 1.7 by one, same thing. Whereas Firefly calls it a little bit erroneously 16 by 9. They actually both use the same aspect ratio. Again, it's 7 by 4 or 1.75 by 1 if you prefer. So there you go. There's, there's Mid Journey. When upscaled, I want to make that clear. Whereas Firefly just does its thing, by the way, without any upscaling. So here we are looking at Firefly Model 2 default. In other words, not upscaled, 16 by 9. A little bit erroneous, more like 17, uh, 7 by 4, that is. And we're looking at 2,688 pixels wide by 1,536 pixels tall for a total, total of 4.1 megapixels, so slightly less. This is the upscaled from Fire, I mean, uh, Mid Journey, 4.8 megapixels. So let's just call it 5. And this is 4 from Firefly. Now, Firefly ended up going, as opposed to cute, cuddly Firefly, like this guy right here. 
like mid journey produce so sort of a little plush you know kind of something from bugs life i guess we we get this this elf kind of creature right here and i i, I did this a bunch of times I, I want to emphasize this and i kept getting elves that's probably a function of anthropomorphic but without that stick insects and i also got this guy right here he's very cute but i don't know why they're both boys right so same gender every single time not sure why why that was and light 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 skinned light eyed boys as well as you can see very skinny necks but you know cool there I, mean, I think very very cool looking and uh, and 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 a, a definite improvement over what we were seeing just a moment ago this <laughs> unfortunate soul right here all right so but things get even better in mid-journey i just want you to know this i just want you to know what 10 weeks of progress have have brought us in general not only much better firefly but also look at this what a huge mid-journey bug right well that's because you can also run an upscale 4x right now i'm sure there will be more options in the future and that gives you back 58 24 by 33 28 pixels by the way or more than 19 and a half megapixels it's crazy and it does absolutely regenerate the image by the way it doesn't just do a, a straight up sample or like an up sample like photoshop does it's much better than that but it re-renders the image according to the prompt and as a result we get these amazingly smooth results and i'm going to show you here i'm just going to this is the actual image right there because that was a detail from it zoomed in inside the confines of the four megapixel images and i want you to see i'll just bring up the image size dialog box so we can see this for a moment and notice the detail inside the iris right there that's much more detail than we had in the four megapixel or one megapixel iris it's not just sitting there upscaling in other words or upsampling it is going in and redrawing which takes time I know this video is really about Firefly, but I, I want you to know what's happening in Midjourney. It does take time. So one of the ways in which Firefly is better than Midjourney, Firefly better, is it's way faster. So Firefly generally produces a result in it 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 kind of guarantees under a minute. That's kind of Adobe shtick. But I find more like 30 seconds on, on my system. And Midjourney for this, this this upscale to 19 and a half megapixels it took about i'd say five minutes i mean it takes a while so expect to spend some time and some credits mid journey like firefly it's charging credits so there it is with by the way just want you to see it's 50 we talked about 58 24 by 33 28 pixels remember that in-depth conversation the two of us had but that translates to 267 pixels per inch which is a standard for print to 22 inches wide by by 12 and a half inches tall so big image big bigger than we're expecting expecting from a lot of cameras these days and notice in case you don't like inches there's your millimeters for you all right so i'm just going to cancel out of here i just wanted you to see that so that is the current state of the art kind of go back here so you can just see what that cute happy glowing friendly anthropomorphic firefly if it's a light-skinned light-eyed boy looks like with its wings when produced by Firefly Image Model 2. Real quick, is style matching a priority for you? Specifically, would you like to upload one of your own artistic or photographic creations and train Firefly to match your personal style? Then join my Patreon at patreon.com slash deeknow. And now, back to the exciting realm of Firefly's Image Model 2. Okay, now that we've seen the amazing progress made by Firefly and by extension Midjourney over the last 10 weeks, I almost said months. It's not months. It's not 10 years. Next time I talk to you, it's going to be like 10 minutes from now. There's it, Progress is occurring so quickly. But I want you to now see, 10 weeks later, what it's like to work inside Firefly Image Model 2. And so I want to make something clear. I'm working inside of a browser. It happens to be Chrome. That doesn't really matter. What matters is that it's trained on Firefly.adobe.com. That matters a lot because that's where this stuff is happening. Not inside of Adobe Express, for example, or any any of the other, uh, you know, Firefly extensions of 
of Firefly and said Photoshop or Illustrator, Premiere, or what have you. This is a real thing. Firefly.adobe.com, and we're looking at the text to image module. So very important there. And things are, if you're working on a device, things are arranged a little differently, but on a computer, which is where this really shines, by the way. You can see over here on the left-hand side, things start off with the model version. So it should read Firefly Image 2 the way things are right now. You could switch to Firefly Image 1 if you wanted to. That would be Model 1 if you want worse results. And I'm serious. I can't think of any other reason to go backward unless you want to do a comparison. You want to compare the prompt in, you know, image model one to image model two. So I'll just go ahead and switch to image model two. That's what I want. Down here, it's calling it image two model. As is very typical of Adobe, it calls the same technology, different things depending on where you look. But image model two is, is what it's called among the cool kids. Who in the world would call it image two model? Yeah, that's lame. Anyway, and, and then notice over here on the left-hand side, we have a lot of other options that are available to us. These guys down here are same as before. They have updated icons. They look cool, thumbnails that is, but they, they behave basically the same way as before. The new stuff's up at the top. Now, this guy is not new, but I just want to bring it to your attention. I happen to be working widescreen. I'm creating widescreen images. It says 16 by 9. It's really 7 by 4, or if you prefer, 1.75 by 1. So it's not quite 16.9, it is close though, so good enough, I guess. Anyway, you do have those four aspect ratios to choose from. We also have art, notice right here. But I want you to see, so before we had, we had photo, art, and graphic. And you can still bring those up if you switch back to image one right there. But you can go with auto. You can let... Uh, Firefly choose for you, so I'll just go ahead and click generate. And I've loaded this before, and it, it's it's terrible. It's it's just awful, don't you think? Of course you do. I mean, who wouldn't think this was awful? A, a tiny child just learning to watch YouTube or something might think this looks good. But I'm gonna switch away from Auto because that's obviously not what we want. And I'll try Photo right here, and I'll click generate again. That's probably gonna load something real fast. And see, the thing is. I mean, really, if it was up to me, I would take the entire team, the entire Firefly team, and make them work for three days on generating better Fireflies. Because these Fireflies are just awful. This is just, 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 just a black spot on the eye of the Firefly model, the Firefly technology, don't you think? So notice this guy right here, though. Visual intensity. You can, you can reduce it if you want to, but what I'm going to do is crank it up. Now, what does it do? Well, it takes photo or art and cranks up the intensity. That's what it does. But I want, I want to show you something. I'm going to bring back the whatever this is, the navigation bar or whatever it's called. And I want you to see this guy right here, creativity equals six. I think it can go down to zero or one. If you take visual intensity down, it lowers the creativity value. If you take it up and you hit generate, then you'll notice you'll get better results. You'll get things that look way cooler and more stylized, more like Firefly has a style, an innate style, the way Midjourney does. And so I'll just go ahead and drag this over so you can see creativity now equals 10. So is this called visual intensity? No, it's called creativity. How much creativity do you want Firefly to apply? And the answer is generally a whole lot. And next thing I want to show you though, I'm going to go ahead and change the prompt right here. And I'm going to say woman with hands. And the reason I'm doing this is because faces and hair and hands are notoriously things that Firefly hasn't been handling that well. Mid Journey, by the way, didn't do so good either during its its early time on Earth. And so Firefly is actually catching up, you know, it's surpassing in certain ways. We'll have to see about that. But notice that it's 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 prompting us. It's giving us uh, prompt suggestions is what this thing, if you have this thing turned on right here. And it's going to say, hey, what about woman with hands at face? So her hands are at her face. Beautiful girl in black clothes. 
or you know any of these others. And if you don't like any of them, you just refresh your suggestions and you come up with something different. And so you could say, woman with hands together in front of a blue sky. Her hands are together, I imagine. Then I got to go click generate. It sh I should have just been able to click that, don't you think? And it would it would have gone for it. Now I haven't run this one before. That's why it's taking longer. But it is going to be photo with the visual intensity cranked all the way up. And notice these these absolutely gorgeous looking images right here. Now, one of the things I will say, I shouldn't get too mired in this, but one of the things that Adobe is promising with Model 2 is diversity. I'm not seeing anything. And sometimes it doesn't do so good at diversity first time around. And in which case, or just you just want to change things out. You just want to switch them out. That you don't have to be, you know, you don't have to be policing Firefly necessarily. But like I am, by the way, woo woo, to pull over and notice that now we get a, a wider array of 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 people. And they're still all women because that's what I asked for, and their hands are clasped together. Now let's say they're I'm gonna I'm gonna come up with something different. I, I came up with this. Women with her with her hand, woman with her hands in the air, excited to be surrounded by glowing butterflies. Because we've already <laughs> established that fireflies are not fireflies strong suit. I can't think of a more damning sentence than what I just said. That should that should not be the case. I should not be able to say that. But oh, I mean, check it out. These are so great, and they've all got the right number of fingers and stuff. Now, right? Because you could have six fingers and you still have the right number of fingers, right? Or you could have four. You can have as many fingers as you want, people. I'm just telling you that. But the average tends to be five, and so that's what. These these women seem to all have five. She actually, I'm such a liar. I just look at hands and I think there's there's five. There are there are five fingers. One, two, three, four, five fingers. Oh, forgot. There's also a thumb. So and over on this side, she's only got three fingers or two fingers and one. Side, the, 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 her her third ring fingers are kind of merged together and a thumb. So you know we're getting closer though. We're making progress is 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 what I want to highlight. I'm going to click on art just so I can show you a comparison to the two. Actually, I want to show you a photo. I'm going to show you a photo with visual intensity cranked down as low as it goes, and I'm going to click generate. And let's see. Let's check out the 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 bra the bar up here. Creativity goes down to two. That's as low as it goes. Well, I'm glad I checked because otherwise I was a big liar. I guess zero or one. Didn't I? I think I did. Anyway, now we get more stock photo results is what happened. So let's let's is it less creative to be a stock photographer? I don't know that it is, but it's 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 definitely less creativity where Firefly is concerned. So let's try art. Why don't we? I just want to show that to you. I think I could just press the enter key at this point instead of having to reach all the way down there and click generate again in order to refresh things. But a moment later, and again, I want to emphasize that Firefly is quick. It tends to be less than uh, 30 seconds. And we're getting these various results right here. Uh, and if you're, you know, if you're into checking the fingers, one, two, three, four. I think that's four fingers. Okay. So she's not a Simpsons character. Nobody is in this case. They all got they all got their four fingers and one thumb, however you want to describe things. Now we're going to crank visual intensity, creativity, all the way up from two to ten. And now I'm going to click generate. I pressed the enter key and it didn't do anything. So you might have better uh, experience with that than I do. But, well, it wasn't a bad experience, was it? Mm. Let me think about it for a moment. No, it wasn't. It was an okay experience. And, and notice now that we have just these beautiful results. And of course, if you want to save one of them, why then just click on this thing right here and click download. All right, I want to show you a couple other things. I'll switch back to photo and click generate. I think I have to do that. But it, it, notice it's buffered. So it brings that stuff back to me. We still have seeds up here. So if you, if you want to be able to come back to a group of photos, you've got your four or seeds as things um, happen right now. So you could just go ahead and copy that entire URL and you will be able to bring back these same four images or you can just copy their seeds right there. 
All four seats is generally the best way to go. Paste them into a text editor or something like that. Just save. Save all the seeds you ever create, and then you can come back to them. You can just take any old URL that's got the same. Well, it's got to have the exact same prompt as well and some other settings that are the same. Just go ahead and actually, just go ahead and copy that entire string. That's that's going to be your best bet. But those seeds, are those do indicate the images you've created right there, 99, 692, and so forth. All right, now that I'm working with photo, I don't know where to find this one. So I have to, there it is, photo settings. It's way at the bottom. I was telling you all the new stuff's at the top. This one is not. This one, this one will hide from you. Right now it's set to auto click photo settings. And I don't know if I'm going to get a bunch of dogs and birds and junk like that when I hover over these, but you can change the aperture. You can change the shutter speed. You can change the field of view. So let's say I want to get some shallow depth of field. So right now the depth of field is a little bit flat. Don't you think Then I'm going to crank up, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to expand the aperture, even though this value appears to be getting smaller. But remember, it's a fraction. So 1 over 22 is less than 1 over 1.2. But anyway, we're opening up the aperture. And we're also going to increase the focal length. And then we're going to click on Generate. There's no button over here. You can play with shutter speed on your own. And I'll go ahead and click on generate again. And the idea is because we have more focal length and because we have a wider aperture, letting in more light. Remember that. This is all virtual, of course, because we're inventing images out of whole cloth. But as a result, we should have a, a shallower depth of field. So notice it's more, it's most pronounced right here. Can I click on one of these images? Yeah, I can. Look at that. I, I can see that she is, and you can see as well, that her background right there is in, in less focus. We might be able to see that even more. So in other words, we have shallower depth of field. We might be able to make that out even more clearly if we take down the visual intensity. I hate to do that. Let's take it down a little too, a little more. What, would, what do you think? This is two, this is three, four. Would that be a good guess? Let's say creativity, creativity five. Let's try that. Click generate and see what happens. Let's go up here because we can because the, 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 the information's already entered up here. Creativity equals five. Wow, I'm really starting to figure this stuff out here where Firefly Image Model 2 is concerned. And now you can see that she's a good example that we have shallower depth of field. So we have some butterflies that are almost cartoon-like in the foreground, but what are they? They're undeniably fireflies. Firefly. They're undeniably butterflies, Firefly team. Oh, I should probably just work there since I'm so familiar with 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 insects. All right, what's left? There is one more thing left, and that is this guy right here, Match. Now, you can match. You can upload your own image and turn yourself into, turn Firefly into a U factory, a your style factory, by the way. And if you want to learn more about that, check out patreon.com slash deeknow. Really good times we have there. But that's not what I'm going to do. I'm just going to twirl open the reference image gallery right here. And we're going to try something. What what should we try? I, let's, they're, they're divided in all kind of categories. Dramatic lighting. Let's give that guy a try right there. Next door is the baby. I don't want that. I want dramatic lighting like this dude right here. Can't really tell. Uh, what's up with the, uh, uh, sorry, moving away from the mic so I can take out that thumbnail. Anyway, it didn't get any better by me looking at it closely. I'm sure there's a way to see the thumbnails more closely if you want to. But anyway, notice they're all now, just like him, he's, I guess he's in a white shirt and, and, a, and a black jacket. And now they are too. They're just, they're just, you know, corporate tools, but they've been visited and it's wonderful. They have an, a beautiful a setting because they have this light that comes in their windows, which is enlightening them. They're no longer tools. And they have these butterflies that have come to visit them as well. And then, of course, you could, you know, increase the you could play with all this stuff. You, but you got to go back. Notice this right here. You, even if you twirl to the top, it's not going to it's not going to take you back to these. So, so Firefly visual. Inten that's not the word Firefly visual intensity right there. Click generate. And I just want to see if it comes up with something better. Notice, I do want you to also see reference image gallery right here. So I just want you to know that if you don't want to upload your own images, it's reference image gallery that you want to go for. And oh, me, does it still have all that photo stuff? I just want to see if it still has all my, yes, 
field of view is, is 300 millimeters at focal length. That is uh, aperture. Well, that's what it's really called. Uh, aperture is, is 1.2. So it's big, huge opening in, in, in that lens and letting in all kinds of light. And then if you want to, I mean, I just think these are so great. Doesn't she look wonderful? One, two, three, four fingers. Five, five fingers. Well, no, 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 no. I miscounted. That's the side of her hand. One, two, three, four fingers, one thumb. All right. I'm really trying to advocate on your behalf, Firefly. Really trying here. And then I'm going to go down here and click on the reference image gallery because I want you to see. Let's try something different. You can try anything. You, 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 you should try anything. Why don't I, I'm looking for something, but I'm, you know what, this woman who's half immersed in some kind of goo, let's go with her and click generate and see what it comes up with. Again, if you want to upload your own image and you want a little bit of guidance on that, and you want a demonstration of how it works, then, then patreon.com slash deke now. And we come up with these beautiful looking images here and everybody got younger cuz cuz they're not they're not they're not corporate tools anymore they didn't grow up oh bless them oh oh enjoy it now why don't you and that my friends <laughs> is how i choose to end my look at the wonderful world of firefly image model 2 Thank you so much for watching. Feel free to like, subscribe, and turn on notifications. Want to upload and style match your own images? Learn how at patreon.com slash deeknow. And just like that, you'll get 50% off my comprehensive video course, Photoshop 1-on-1 Fundamentals. I'm Deke McClellan. This is Deke Now.